Welcome back to a new video here in Swabi. Let's create a psychedelic animation. Okay, so you can see this is the example right here of something that I sort of did it sort of for fun. And I wanted to share how you can create your own cool and crazy psychedelic animations. The first thing you need to do is find some tunes and then get ready to have some fun. The first thing we're going to create is a few new fusion composition. It doesn't matter if it is five seconds long. In this case, we're just going to do it with five since I'm showing you the basics. If you want to make it longer, you can do that too. But we're going to create a background first of all, and we can make this transparent or you can leave it black. There's no set rules in these because it's sort of like a, it's just something that comes out naturally and what comes out of it is what you get so you, there's no set of rules that you have to follow for this now the first thing that you need to do is go to tools here and we're gonna find shape here and there's a couple of shapes here that you can use in this case i use the star shape you can just click that and you're not going to be able to connect these like this because first you need a render now this render you will be able to connect this to the background and now we can see a star what I did for this one was I first took the solid out and then I added a little bit of a border width to it. And then you can add as many points as you want. You can play around with these settings right here. Um, and then you can also play around with the style. One thing that you are not allowed to do is to add a gradient color to it. That would have been pretty cool. But in this case, for these specific shapes, we can only add solid colors. So we're going to go for these sort of like light bluish color and then we have our first one now what we can do already for this one is we can do a simple animation for this like a rotation animation and we're gonna do this by creating a keyframe right here and then right at the middle which is gonna be 59 frames uh we're gonna go all the way to like let's go 180 let's see if it is too fast It might be a little bit too fast so we're gonna go to 90 degrees here and then we're gonna go to the spline tool and in order to make it like a loop we're gonna select that all by pressing ctrl a and then we're gonna set it on a loop so it will go back the same way as it came from the beginning okay so we have their first animation right here it's simple now what we can do is already we can ctrl c and then ctrl v to make a copy of these and we're gonna add a new one of a different color in this case it could be yellow and right now it's on top of it because we need to change the size you can connect the size of both of these if you want by doing this simply right click and add an expression and then connect it to the height so now when you move so now when you move the height you have a different um both of them would change the size at the same time now both of these have the same animation for the angle if you want to change that you can do that too so like instead of it going to from zero to well it's not going to be zero it shows zero because of the loop but it has to be minus 45 so it's going to go to the up in the opposite direction and we can check the spline tool and then select these and then make sure we're setting the loop right here actually it's supposed to be set ping pong Otherwise, it's going to stop right in the middle and then it's going to be a little bit weird. So let's correct that for the other one, too. We're going to set it ping pong. And we have that there. So now it doesn't look that trippy or anything yet. Now, the next thing that we can add for these to be a little bit more interesting is a vortex. And that will make it spin or like make it curve a little bit. And we can see it moving a little bit already. Now you can also animate the vortex if you want. In this case, we're just going to leave it like that for now. And then we're going to add a mirror and we're going to go from individual to rosette. And that will create the first sort of like interesting effect that we have here. After we have the first mirror, we can add a second mirror and then mix that with the kaleidoscope effect. And now we're going to have a little bit more of a really trippy style of animation and you can move these around until you get this desired effect you can change the angle 
size there's no like set of rules it's all about experimentation and trying things out and see what looks cool in this case this looks like a cool background could be a cool animated background but anyways let's make it a little bit bigger again so we can see the blue part again okay now we have that yeah if you are listening to music and then looking at these for a while it's gonna get a little bit trippy so <laughs> bear in mind that that can happen if you do that now one thing we're not i wanted to move in a circle a little bit i wanted to have some circle movement and i want to add a transform node right here i think what happens if we move these in a circle way yeah that's gonna be look that's gonna look a little bit cool i think so we're gonna create a key from here for the for the angle and all the way in the until the last frame of our fusion composition we're gonna move these to 180 so that way when it stops or it reaches the end it will go back to the same position at the beginning yeah although it's barely noticeable the change that we have with that what if we take this transform out and we're gonna put this transform right here and we're gonna change the wrap color here now the whole thing is moving in a circle way so that's basically it for now I like that that's that looks interesting now one cool thing that we can also add before we go is we can add a duplicate for these so if we go here and find the shape duplicate and drag it in here we can add like three copies and then make the size of these a little bit smaller or you can change it however you want actually but if you do that, that's going to create an extra layer of effects that you can use. And that is pretty cool, I think. And now one last thing that I did in the other one was I created. First, I will have these alpha as transparent. And I'm going to add a new background node. And on this background node, we can change it to gradient. And you can play around with the colors. Any color would do. I'm going to use the basic colors here that I have saved. And instead of white, well, the white looks a little bit cool. Oops. Uh, instead of that, let's change, not angle. We're going to go for a linear one and actually no, we're going to go to a reflection one. There it goes. I like this one. And we can make the purple a little bit bigger that like that and move it like that okay now we have these on this background and this background we can add a transform node and on this transform node we're gonna change it to wrap and then we're gonna animate and then we're gonna create a like a rotation animation for this right here so it's moving like that a little bit 180 degrees and before we do anything else, we're going to press control space bar and then we're going to add a displace. And on this displace, we're going to go again to the selection tool panel and we're going to add a fast noise. And connect this here. There. Now on this fast noise, we can add the, a bunch of details and play around with the different settings here so it will start moving like that and if we press this continued here it's gonna create a really interesting effect sort of like lab not lava but i like the texture that it has and then we can adjust the speed that the seed is moving so it moves a little bit slower now if we go back and mix all of these together now we, although we have this yellow in the background that i think is mixing with the other one so we're gonna change this yellow to There it goes. We're going to trans change the transform node from wrap here into mirror. mirror. And now we have our animation. That I think I like the result on this one like that. We can let it render for a little bit. And then after it's rendered, it should be ready to go. Now there it goes. We have our shape animation. Although it's moving a little bit too fast, I think, in my opinion. So I'm going to change the speed of these. 
Now, instead of having the 90 degrees at the end, I'm going to do sort of like a ping pong effect here too. We're going to get a full five red at the in the middle part. And then we're going to select all these and we're going to set it to ping pong here. So it's going to go back to the first keyframe. Now, if you have a longer timeline or a longer fusion composition, you can add and make it slower. But in this case, for the tutorial, that's going to be it. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you have fun with these and that you can use it to create some pretty cool animations. It's actually really fun to do. And if you like this style of music, you can use this. Or if you want to use this on some music videos as a cool background effect or such, now you can do this by simply playing around with the different shapes and the mirror effects and then adding some fast noise maybe for the background and that's pretty much how you can go and create some pretty cool crazy psychedelic animations that is pretty much it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next video here in Slavi. bye